Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So for the next four months, I'm going to be living in London. So I've created kind of a capsule wardrobe because I can only pack two suitcases. I'm essentially just making as many outfits as I can with the small amount of clothes that I'm able to bring. And I decided to make a video out of it. So enjoy. So for the first outfit, I knew I could not go without bringing a pair of overalls. So these are really nice because they're a little bit lighter weight than my other pairs. Overalls are nice because you just wear any top underneath. Next outfit, we've got the overalls. And then I've got this little kind of like bathing suit top underneath. I think it's really cute. I like the kind of pop of color. And this will just be like a nice outfit if it's a little bit hotter the first couple fall days. For this final overall outfit, I've got this turtleneck on from eBay. I think it's really cool. It's also got the little like glove things on the sleeves. The main thing for this trip is that all these pieces need to be able to layer well. You can even throw on some leggings or something under the overalls and like a jacket over top of this if it's super cold. But all of these like have the ability to be layered, which is key. So I just paired the top with these light wash ripped jeans. I'm just wearing the black like knockoff Doc Martens that I talked about in my previous haul video. I just think it's cute and again, easy to just throw on some sort of like coat or something. And I feel like that's like a look in itself. All right, so then I just paired it with these nice wide leg kind of jeans that are by BCBG, but they're thrifted. It's nice because I feel like even wearing the same top depending on the jeans and shoes can kind of just like make it look completely new and different. We've got this little mini skirt that is thrifted, these tights that I've had for forever. I paired them with the little knockoff Doc Martens. So I can easily just throw on like a warmer jacket or I can just wear it by itself if it ends up being a little bit warmer out. This look is pretty similar. I just switched out the skirt for this cool like fun multicolored printed skirt. But I did want to throw this in because it's super lightweight and easy to pack. I would probably throw on some sort of like either a denim vest or a black jacket or something if it's a little bit cooler. I found these like high-waisted super loose pants from a thrift store a while ago and I kind of forgot about them but they're just like nice very lightweight but I think that they look kind of like expensive and dressy. And I've got this top which is from Vinted and then the zebra print button up is from Goodwill. This outfit we've got the same tops and then I'm just wearing these wide leg jeans again from BCBG. I just love how it looks and because they're so high waisted a lot of the tops that I wear with them I just like to kind of tuck in to almost give like a bodysuit look. So for the final outfit with the zebra print top I'm wearing my faux little other pants. I'm also wearing sneakers. They really do go with everything which is why I'm bringing them because how great and also the inside is like almost lined with like sort of a fuzzy material that I feel like will be pretty warm it's one of my kind of like dressier looks but I figured that I wanted to play around with sort of the leather suit kind of look with the pants and blazer this leather blazer is from a yard sale I already talked about the pants before I just think it's cute and I feel like it honestly because these pants are so incredibly high-waisted and the top is kind of like looks like a shirt almost I could get away with wearing it as a top this is one of the outfits I was actually looking most forward to same leather pants and then I have this little DIY Harley Davidson top that I made. I just think it's so cute and I love the little graphic. It's got some color. I feel like as for layering, of course we have that leather blazer but I'm trying to kind of not plan every outfit around it. So this is just my winter coat that I would probably wear just like walking around and then I'd be able to take it off and wear this look. Of course I had to throw in a nice little race car tee. I don't know if I would wear this like, traveling to other countries, going to all the villages and cities and stuff just because it's like kind of obnoxious, not exactly very formal. But I feel like for walking around the city this will be nice and even just hanging out in my flat. This very well could be the only sweater that I own. I think it's really cute. It's just like the double zipper one. This is thrifted. Again, wearing black boots, wide leg jeans. These snakeskin pants are one of my favorite pieces that I've ever thrifted. They're just so comfy and very high-waisted, which is nice. I'm wearing the same sweater and I'm wearing the black boots. I'm hoping that for a lot of these looks, I'll also just have like a black purse on. It'd be way too much work to like be putting on different jewelry for every single outfit, but I'm definitely going to be like stacking necklaces and a bunch of rings and stuff on when I'm there. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm not doing any jewelry. So I've just got a basic white tank. This little vest I feel like is nice. I like vests a lot and this one's pretty small and compact so it'll be easy to pack in my bag. Same pants. I'm just matching my shoes to my shirt. I just think that always makes it look like a very clean and put together outfit. Same pants. This white button up is thrifted and I don't know. I think that it's cute and just kind of like different. I typically wear this for like layering purposes but Figured I would try it and I like how it looks. Guys, I love this outfit. This one is so cute. This sort of like fishnet top, I actually cut up a pair of fishnet tights, stockings, whatever, and then made it into a little top. I'm just wearing this little tank over top and I got these blue jeans. I actually just resized them to fit so perfectly and they do. I'm wearing the black boots. I just think this whole look is so fun. Now that it's getting a little bit colder, I can finally pull out this sweatshirt. I got it from a yard sale. It's one of my favorite things ever. Just nice and plaid and then it's got sort of like a little sweatshirt hoodie and lining look to it then the boots in case i didn't rave about this dress enough in my previous haul video this is my favorite piece ever i'm so excited to finally wear it 
As for layering, I think black leather blazer and then of course the boots are gonna match. I wanted to try throwing a t-shirt over this kind of dress. This is not what I was going for. I think if I either find a shirt that has a tighter neckline, so it looks more like that, it could look cute. Let me try one more. Here's what we've got. Um, I don't actually like it at all. The other day thrifting, I found this Forever 21 maxi dress. I was thinking that it would look nice paired with the Levi's denim vest. It's like not very exciting, but cute and it would look good with like a bunch of jewelry. I've had this like weird graphic t-shirt shirt for a minute but I decided to throw it on over the black maxi dress and I think it's cute it looks a little bit stupid only because I feel like everything is like the same fittedness I kind of wish this was either baggier or this was baggier and here's the outfit with the little Harley top I just figured it'd be nice to have like a fancier outfit I don't know if we're going out to dinner or if I'm gonna have some sort of like presentation or something where I need to look a little bit more presentable the skirt was a gift it's from nasty gal and then everything else is secondhand I just made the executive decision that I'm going to bring this tank top as well because I feel like any of the outfits like this could easily replace this for a little bit more color I feel like a lot of the recent outfits that I've been trying on have been a lot dressier so this is a little bit more casual I feel like for either going to the gym or going grocery shopping just being able to throw on it's really nice um, Brandy Melville biker shorts, tank top, thrifted, and then this jacket again. Another comfy outfit, I've got my yoga pants and this little crew neck. I also just wore a little turtleneck underneath just for layers. And I could also just throw on like my winter coat if it's super cold out. Going to class, I know I'm not gonna be wanting to wear like jeans or a skirt every day. So it's nice to have other options. We have another turtleneck layering outfit. You've seen all these pieces before, just kind of, again, mixing them up. So I'm finally styling this white maxi skirt. I paired it with the boots to match this top and then again my Levi vest. As mentioned in my haul video, I've been wanting to style this skirt with like oversized t-shirts. This is what I came up with. Again, I'm just wearing my boots, but honestly I might style it with sneakers as well. I really like how this looks and I definitely will wear these tops for like pajama comfy tops as well as wearing out. So I feel like it's a perfect thing to pack. I made this little baby tee the other day and then I'm just wearing my wide leg jeans. Just another comfy outfit. I could also switch out this top for literally any of my like baby tees or tank tops and it would look cute. So this denim skirt kind of just serves like another denim piece that I can style any top with. I just think it's kind of cool because if I don't feel like wearing jeans or I've worn jeans a bunch, wearing this sort of elevates the look. So I'm kind of playing around with the like buttons and stuff on here because the sleeves look a little bit ridiculous. Both of my tops are from the Goodwill outlet and I'm just wearing another one of my pairs of jeans. I think that both of these serve as just really good layering pieces because they're nice neutrals. So I did have two more outfits that I was planning on styling with these cargo pants that I'm bringing, but they're currently in the wash and I'm just not gonna film later because I don't really want to. So that's it, 30 outfits with this little capsule wardrobe. Hopefully it'll last me.